Hey everyone, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to talk about creating videos. The question that I get in my email more than any other is, Richard, what are the tools you use for making your tutorial videos? And a couple of tools are in my playbook here. First of all, for audio recording, I use the Blue Snowball microphone. It's uh, relatively inexpensive, depending on where you buy it, it's anywhere between $50 and $65. This one I think I got from Staples. I have another one that I've gotten from Amazon. They do a great job of filtering out background noise. It's really great for uh, classroom environments where you might have students working in stations and you want to avoid uh, having some overlapping sound. Blue Snowball microphone, really great for that. Also very durable. I have literally dropped it off the desktop onto a ceramic tile floor and it keeps on working. Not a problem at all. So that's the first tool I use. Now, the next tool I use is Screencast-O-Matic. I use this on my desktop, on my Windows computer. I've also used it on my Mac in the past. Uh, awesome tool. I use the Pro version. I spend the $15 a year uh, to upgrade. There is a free version that allows you to record for up to 15 minutes. The Pro version gives you some additional editing features and some additional sharing features as well as uh, a little bit higher resolution recording. Uh, I just noticed that there's a new site licensing option, so if you wanted to get the pro version and have all your teachers use it in your school, you can go in and say, I need 50 licenses, and that's going to cost me 480 bucks for the entire year for all 50 teachers to use it. So that's Screencast-O-Matic. Like I said, my favorite tool. It gives you all these highlighting features, includes uh, my webcam even. I can even record my webcam which is what you're seeing right now. I'm using it at this very moment. Unfortunately, Screencast-O-Matic does not work if you are using a Chromebook. So on the Chromebook side of things, the tool that I really like is Nimbus Screenshot. And you can see I already have it installed in my Chrome browser. Uh, you can use it in your Chrome browser on a Windows computer or a Mac, but you can also use it on a Chromebook. And the great thing about using it on a Chromebook is I'll go in and select Record Video and I can record the desktop on my Chromebook or I can record just the tab that I'm currently viewing. You can see here I also have the option to record my mic sound, my tab sound. I'm going to, rec I'm going to turn off recording my mic sound for the moment because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how Nimbus Screenshot works inside of Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, so I'm making a screencast without making a screencast at the moment. So let's go ahead and do a tab record. And we can see now it's recording, it's keeping track of how long I've been speaking for, or re recording for. Uh, let's just take a quick look at YouTube. Let's say we're, we're going to make a quick video on how to make a playlist. Someone just asked me about how to do this. Uh, let's say I want to make a playlist of bloopers from my favorite TV shows. So I'm going to go down here. I'm watching the video while I'm signed into my YouTube account click add to and then you can say create new playlist and we'll call it TV show bloopers and then I can make that playlist either public unlisted or private if it's public anyone can see it and they can see anything you add to it if it's unlisted uh, you can share it with your friends and they don't have to sign in but it won't show up in a generic search on YouTube uh, and if it's private, obviously no one can see it except for you uh, and the people that you invite to watch it by email. So that's how you make a YouTube playlist. Now, I have this number screenshot still recording. Let's go in and hit stop record. You'll see it opens up in a new tab here. I can send it to Nimbus. I can make a Nimbus account or I can save it as a video and we'll just save it that way. Okay. So that's Nimbus and there it is if you want to create a Nimbus account you can do that as well. Okay. So that's how you can create videos, tutorial videos specifically using screencasting tools. For more tips and tricks like this, as always, please check out freetechforteachers.com or check out my YouTube channel on YouTube.